Hello everybody, welcome to the Old Golden Black. I'm Tom Rouse. I hope you like my new shirt, the one that I'll be wearing this e well, this afternoon for the match at Anfield. The last game of the season, the last game of a tremendous season, one of the well, the best season in my lifetime, filled with so many memories and just watching Wolves compete at the highest level and succeed at the highest level, I think it's been exceptional. I've really, really enjoyed every moment of this season so far. Apart from the two games against Huddersfield, which we'll, we'll gloss over a little bit. But I just wanted to give my thoughts on the title race and the game today. In a short video this morning, uh, before heading off, I'll be going in about an hour or so uh, up to Liverpool. And hopefully, Wolves can spoil the party. Well, it's out of their hands a lot, uh, Liverpool. Obviously, they're relying on Brighton to do them a favour, which I can't really see them doing. But I can see them frustrating Man City for a long time this afternoon. I can see Liverpool taking the lead first. Which would mean, of course, that they will change places for about the 400th time this season. Um, that's a lot of that's been made a lot of that by the media because, of course, they haven't played at the same time uh, for most of the second half of the season. So one team has always gone ahead of the other. And yes, they've changed hands 32 times, but if you look at per match day, Man City have probably been top for a long time. If you take the game in hand that they had for a long time into context as well. They will. They have been leading since they played each other back uh, at Christmas time. Really, I think. Um, Liverpool, however, they've had this massive game on um, on uh, Tuesday night, of course, against Barcelona, when they turned around the three 0 deficit to win four three on aggregate. Uh, incredible performance, and um, and then matched <laughs> somewhat by Tottenham the next day. So there could be a little bit of fatigue and a little bit of a hangover from that, but I can't really see that happening because uh, there'll be players coming back into that team. I imagine that Salah will play today and Firmino possibly will play. So there'll be a bit of a, a few fresh legs in that team. And as well, yes, it was an, it might have been an emotional day, but it wasn't. It didn't go to extra time. It, they didn't have any injuries particularly. It, they, you know, it wasn't a tough, challenging game in that context. They did do a lot of running. But I don't expect them to be too tired today. I expect them to be, you know, the, the Gagan press that Klopp uh, likes the heavy metal football. I imagine that will be uh, evident today. And I can see them taking the lead quite early on. And I think that there will be a point this afternoon where, Manch where Liverpool think that they've won the league. Um, I, could, I could possibly see Brighton holding on and making it really tough for Manchester City. A little bit like Leicester did on Monday night. And just stopping them from scoring, stopping them from having chances. Um, but that being said, I can see Ma Manchester City will score at some point this afternoon. Um, I also think Wolves will as well. I think it could be very... What I'm hoping, this is the ideal scenario for me, is that uh, Manchester City cannot score against Brighton. It's nil 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 nil. Then Liverpool score with about 20 minutes to go. They think they've won the league this people on the cop dancing, they think, they hear that the Manchester City game has ended and then Wolves break through and Jimenez or Neves, somebody iconic, scores the goal to win Manchester City the league. That would be, uh, that would just be amazing. But I, it's good to go to this game without needing anything and just being able to enjoy the drama of the title race without being directly involved in it. And I do think the Wolves will play a strong team today. I think that's been... That's been something that's been discussed quite a lot over the last couple of weeks. Whether Wolves would actually go with under-23 players or give Will Norris and Max Kilman minutes. But I think that Nuno sort of... Whether he fully satisfied the players once last week by bringing them on for a couple of seconds or not is beside the point. Wolves would be... The, all the eyes of the world would be on Anfield and uh, the Amex this afternoon. So we have to play our strongest team. We have to play to win. It's a competition... We've still got the, you know, it, it wouldn't be fair on anybody for us to play uh, a weakened team or anything like that. And Conor Cody as well is another question mark for me, whether he, whether or not he mentally would be the, the right man to be playing at the back for Wolves today. Because he's such a big Liverpool fan, he will want Liverpool to win the league. And if, they, if there are rumours that Manchester City are losing, but I do trust that. Conor Cody is the ultimate professional and that he will do the best job uh, that he possibly can and do his, you know, stop Liverpool from scoring. That's uh, that's his job today. So very, very excited about the game. Very, very pleased about the season. I'll do a full video in a couple of weeks' time or a couple of days' time perhaps talking about all my favourite memories 
I remember last season I did quite a long like twenty minute discussion on the whole season, which uh, I will do again at some point this season. But yeah, let me know your thoughts about the title race down below and share any memories perhaps that you want me to discuss in the next couple of days in my season review. And then don't forget to subscribe with a bell on and then uh, check back after the game for a review on Wolves beating Liverpool. Bye-bye. <laughs>